Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, we are Nick and Sarah, a British couple who left the UK many years ago in search of something different. And with our two little dogs, we live and travel full time in our camper van when the world permits it. Over the last few years, we've visited over 25 countries. But this summer, we're doing something completely different as we head to central Portugal in search of some off-grid land. Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel and you join us in the same location where we saw you in the last vlog. Well, a slightly different location, about 15 meters down the stream. Yeah, that lovely little location in the shade of the trees with a little stream, water source at the church, peace and quiet. Turned out not to be so nice when it got to 40 degrees. We had a nightmare of a day yesterday. How are you feeling, darling? Like crap. Right out there, just put it out there. Just put it out there, I feel like crap. I didn't sleep at all well, stuffy, you know, just couldn't wake up this morning because I didn't sleep last night, got up at like 4am, finally got to sleep, it's now 11 o'clock, we were supposed to get up early and we didn't make it up early because I couldn't get out of bed because I didn't sleep all night. Yeah, so basically we just really messed up. We got it all wrong. It was a bit of a nightmare day yesterday. It was like over... It was all right during the day. We were bathing yeah. the dogs. We were keeping ourselves cool with water and everything. And then it got to about five o'clock. And then the water that we were trying to keep ourselves cool with was actually warm and turned hot. All of our drinking water was warm. Everything basically gets warm. All your technology, all batteries, all your camera Food, equipment, everything. everything is warm and, in the van. you know, we'll probably be able to handle it, but then obviously we have to think about Charlie. We have to put the dogs first. And we were worried about him because obviously with his history so yeah i mean the dogs cooled down in the stream a little bit they were paddling in there when it got really hot and then we we're showering them every like half an hour you literally have a shower and then half an hour later you're dry again and then you think like as from the last few days it gets to the night time gets to like eight nine o'clock as soon as the sun sets it cools down, but last night it didn't. It's too hot to be in the van. It's like half 11 too at night. Too hot to be outside the van. It's like 35 degrees in the van. It's ridiculous, it's half a, 11. I think it's a wild boar. Wild boar over there as well. I think so, Dogs yeah. are going crazy. Dogs have been going crazy. They ran over there. We've leashed them now. Uh, it seems like there's some sort of creature stalking us. And it's a big <laughs> creature, like a dark, big dark creature. Dark but it's shape. short. And they're Sean's going nuts. Lucky. They've been barking and we didn't film before, but they'll run over there. We've leashed them up now. Oh. Tonight is just like unbearable. Like it's The sun went down, it didn't cool down at all. You can feel the heat radiating off the ground. It's just It's nutty. No yeah. respite today, no respite whatsoever. So yeah, I mean this would be okay if it was just like, you know, a day or, you know, two days. But um we've checked the forecast and it's not a day or two days or even three days. It's like this for the foreseeable in this area for the next like 10 days in fact it's over 40 degrees we did check the weather and we knew there was a little mini heat wave coming but we, we thought it's gonna last this long yeah we thought it was just for four or five days it's actually got worse since we checked <laughs> so we're not you know um i don't know we, we just we just ballsed it up didn't we? we we thought we might be able to cope and it's just i don't know if we can really anyway so the plan is today we're heading we're to moving off we're heading into portugal today we're heading to serpa and we're gonna hopefully check into one of these municipal campsites with a pool and it's a few degrees cooler um the more west we go so let's see how the day turns out So we just had to make a little pit stop because we're a little bit worried about Charlie. If you've been following us, you know he suffers from seizures and when he starts acting a bit funny, he's been struggling with the heat a little bit. Why is it the dogs? Is this the same for anyone else where you have to put the food outside the bowl otherwise they don't eat it? Charlie's always been a bit funny, hasn't he? Sometimes he's totally fine, other times he's a bit, yeah. Get a meal inside him and hopefully he'll be alright and we can carry on. There's another pit stop <laughs> on the way, just to soak little Charlie, make sure he doesn't get too hot. <sighs> ah, it's not easy, is it? Looks all right, though. We made it to Portugal!
is cold shower number 86 in the last two hours of being here. We made it to Serpa, we've checked into the municipal campsite and we've set up base camp. We've got the awning out, the shade up, the fridge out, the fridge, can't really call it a fridge, but basically we've got everything out of the van because it's too hot to be in the van. So staying at a campsite is definitely a must when there's a crazy little heat wave going on in yeah. Portugal. And uh, this campsite is actually really quite cool, isn't it? Well, first impressions, we rocked up and we're like, is this it? Because it is quite small. It's, yeah. it's very small. Oh, we, and at first we thought there wasn't even a toilet block. We thought, oh gosh, was it not <laughs> loads and loads of shade. And um, obviously on closer inspection, it's actually really good, isn't it? It's really quite nice. It's yeah. really good. The toilet block is huge. Loads of loads showers. Loads of showers. Yeah. Massive area, high ceilings, so it's quite cool in there. Yeah, loads of cubicles, loads of showers. And you can have like really hot water if you want it, or obviously really cold water. There's a place to do all your laundry and your dishes and all that sort of thing. Everything Think you can need over there. I don't know whether you can use it this time of year, but there is like a little shaded barbecue area. There's a little communal area under the shade of these trees with loads of benches and things. And there's even a bike fixing station. Yeah. So I managed to fix Sarah's bike with just the handlebars. Okay. Again. <laughs> so it's great and it's really reasonably priced. Priced? Why can't I say that? It's reasonably priced. Yes. So ten, it's 10 euros. 10 euros. 10 euros for us to stay here per night and it's very quiet as well, it's the weekend. I'm not surprised it's quiet. Everyone's gone to the coast, haven't they? Yeah. It's only mad people that would be in central Portugal on holiday now. There's a, there's a few vans and then crazy people in tents, some of them in like full on sun. Yeah. I don't know how they're coping with, I don't that, know how but... they're coping with that. But anyway, we're, we feel better now. We're you know in the shade of these trees off and on. Mm. Everything's out of the van, we're a lot cooler. Mm. Charlie's chilling out underneath the van, probably the coolest place. Yeah, yeah, we've got that little paddling pool where I've just been standing in and that's like where a treat as soon as one of the dogs starts panting. Dizzy, you're not panting, are you? Come on, oh, then, little oh, one. Oh, it's time. Oh, yes. There we go. Good boy. Okay. Feel better, this? So what we've realized after staying at the last place, an essential necessity for surviving, so the survival is ice. Yeah, ice cold drinks. I think we mentioned at the beginning of the vlog, after you know, after a day in the wilds, then everything is warm. Like you can't no no cold water or anything. And so. it's disgusting. Warm water, lukewarm yeah, waters are yeah. oh, nasty. Yeah. There's no mini market on the site, but hundred meters over that fence. So obviously you can't climb over the fence. Well, you probably could if you give me a, what do you call it? A bunk up. Bunk up. <laughs> but yeah, we've got the bike. So you just literally, it's three minutes cycle just out of the campsite and just round. So we can just go there like any time of day. It's open every day, all day. That's not the best thing. No. The best thing all about this place. All these things are place. pretty good about this little campsite, right? We've got good prices, we've got good facilities. We've got like a supermarket just there, but the best thing about this place is you've got this amazing pool to chill out in. So what's going on in here, my love? Ooh, it's research time, isn't it? As we're in limbo and, in, and we're not sure whether we should go to the coast to escape this heat wave or whether we should continue the quest for land and head further north. It's, yeah, it's quite hot. So we need to find some nice little campsites like this or find some of the amazing river beaches, inland river beaches that Portugal's famous for. Um, I'm using the free Wi-Fi from the campsite, which is brilliant because as we've come into Portugal, we're on roaming and we're a bit limited on our data plan 
um, with Rome we only get 15 gig to use out of our whopping 135 so it's brilliant they've got free Wi-Fi here but when you're accessing free Wi-Fi you need to be using a VPN because it's unsecure which is great because we've got a VPN as the, you best probably, VPN. the best VPN on the market if you've been following <laughs> us and that is NordVPN who are today's sponsor of the video now if you don't know what a VPN is We've never heard of one. What have you been doing? Where where have you been? VPN basically stands for Virtual Private Network. And essentially the main reason to have one of these is to protect your sensitive information and your data while you're accessing the internet and to stop hackers from stealing your information because those hackers get everywhere. Ooh, where should we pretend we are today? Basically what a VPN does is it hides your IP address or it allows you to choose an IP address from anywhere in the world. So not only does this keep your computer safe, but it also allows you to access content anywhere in the world from wherever you are in the world. So we can catch up with all our favorite shows from back in the UK. So if you're interested in signing up for Nord, as usual, they're offering a fantastic deal on a two year plan with one month for free and a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk involved. So click the link in the description, sign up today to keep you safe while you're away. So this is us for the foreseeable in this campsite. I don't know what tomorrow holds. I don't know what later on today holds, but for now we're set up, we're keeping cool and uh, we'll just see how we go. Good boy, good boy. So um, little Charlie Bear's just had a seizure, um, which, you know, we know he has them. He normally has them every few months. Uh, it's not good in this temperature because they get very hot, they can overheat. Um, so it's very worrying, obviously, if they over overheat, they can die. So we had one, he convulsed for a bit and then got some ice on his, on the back of his neck, which seemed to help. And then he was just trembling for a while and managed to snap him out of it. But now it's just a worry. It's a real worry when the temperature's are over 40. So we're not sure what to do, really. Still living the dream, darling? Still know what to do. We're just like literally now sat in the laundry. Dishes, do your dishes room because it's probably the coolest place in the whole camp. It is the coolest place in the campsite. Thinking what the hell are we going to do? I don't know if we can do this. Well, we can do it. It's just obviously, you know, we need to think about the dogs. We need to think about Charlie. Dizzy likes the heat, but... He seems a bit out of it as well. Delirious, really well behaved. <laughs> You're right, it is. He's been wide eyed, isn't he? You know, obviously, dogs do live in hot countries. You know, dogs do live in Portugal and everywhere else it's hot. But obviously, when you've got one that's a little bit um, like Charlie, a bit special needs. A bit special. The then, heat's uh, not good, is it? Then it's just a worry now. I mean, it was, it was like a. A very mild seizure came out of it quite quickly, but still, obviously, every time this happens, when it happens, it just kind of like sets you back, and mm. and then you're just a bit stressed and worried. I mean, if we go north and something happens, we'd feel really guilty. Bugger this all up, didn't we? Messed we shouldn't it. be here. We should completely be in northern it, Europe. Uh, completely messed up everything. And the crazy winds come again. All of a sudden it just gets really, really gusty, like the awning just nearly blew off. We've, we'd lost the awning, we've wound it in real quick, but it just from nowhere. Our camp is getting destroyed. Putting everything away a bit quick. It's all gone horribly wrong, isn't it? Crazy weather, no wonder they have like crazy forest fires here, hey? Like really, really hot all day, killer heat, and then all of a sudden this Boom. wind from nowhere just rushes through. That's why Sarah's preparing the salad in the van because otherwise it'd be gone. Gone with the wind. Enjoying your first meal of the day? First meal, nice warm salad. Mm, it's quite nice actually. But to be honest, don't really get hungry when it's so hot. 
you don't feel hungry we've had a few little crackers and that's it and just forcing this down really Good morning guys and welcome to a more positive camp this morning. We're both feeling refreshed, revived and... Much better. As soon as the sun set yesterday it got a lot cooler from basically from 12 till 8 is horrible. <laughs> it's surviving after... not thriving at all. <laughs> and then after 8 it cools down, your, your mindset changes a lot more positive. Charlie was a lot better, we took him for a long walk around the campsite. And then um, we went for a walk into Serpa. Yeah, had a little walk into town last night. L very late, but we just mm. wanted to change the scenery, cool down, have a little beer and have a bit of discussion about what to do next because it's not really sort of working mm. out so far. So yeah, we've decided... To just run for the hills, mm. or not the hills, run for the coast. We're going to escape. We don't know where we're going, but we are just going to drive to the nearest coast. We're going to delay the search for land for now. Yeah. For now, because we're not going into central yeah. Port we, Portugal. That'd be ridiculous. It's, you know, it's another 42 degrees today. And, and the next of, day, and the next day, and the next day. day, and the next day. day. Yeah, and, and it's just too much for us. It's too much for our babies. It's too much for the fur boys. So we're going to just head to the coast and, and see what happens <sighs> we've got options we've got options just a little research and there's lots of campsites on the coast or quite a few within five minutes walk to the beach set amongst the pines with shade and a nice pool and then obviously when it starts to cool down it's going to be cooler on the coast but when it starts to cool down then we can maybe try and find some wild spots but that's what we're doing right now it's quite exciting isn't it I'm excited about seeing the sea because we haven't we haven't been to the coast much and yeah to get on the road mm. who wants to go to central portugal and look for land <laughs> we're travelers we're not land buyers speaking of traveling <laughs> It's about yes. the time we showed you Serpa. We haven't been in there yet. Yeah, we had a, a, a very walk. brief walk round last night in the dark, and it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's a mm. little walled town. So um, as it's very hot, Nick's just going to take off and show you guys round quickly before we uh, before we head to the ghost. Couldn't leave this area without visiting the little town of Serpa, whose origins date back to pre-Roman times. And it was occupied by the Romans, then the Moors, then the Christians. Close proximity to Spain means it's been a defensive stronghold for centuries. And it's really impressive. You come into the little old town through a big gate, two towers either side, really impressive walls. You see the 11th century aqueduct and then it's it's just a pleasure getting lost in these little streets. It's like typical Portuguese Alentijo town, I think, getting lost in the cobbled streets. It's got loads of little restaurants and cafes dotted around. And the good thing is it's not that big. It doesn't seem to be that big. You cycle for a few minutes and then you're at one of the walls. So I think the best place to get a view of the whole town from up at the castle. So I've just come up to the castle of Serpa the Castillo, which is actually originally built in the 14th century. Very, very impressive, very impressive ramparts. I think it's been rebuilt over the years, as in the 18th century, it was partly blown up by the Spanish in the War of Succession. 
but well worth coming up here. It's free to get in. You've got incredible views over the town. You can see the extensive wall that surrounds this beautiful little town, all the rooftops, because this is the highest elevation. You can see the flat plains. It looks very dry, very hot. Hence the reason we have to leave very, very soon. Okay, it's about quarter past 10 now and it's starting to get really hot already. So um, I need to get back to the van, get the camp packed up and hit the road and head west to the coast. Good time as well, good time. Very good time, the van's uh, doing well, touch wood. And um, yeah, we've only got about half an hour to go till we actually get to the coast. So we basically drove through Beha. Beha. Beha, which is like the pretty- Permanently, the hottest place in Portugal at times. Yeah. But yeah, got through there and uh, yeah, just plain sailing. I'm keeping the dogs nice and cool. Uh, got a pair of Nick's underpants actually, which I'm wetting and then I pat on to Charlie uh, throughout the journey. That seems to work better than putting the water directly on, so they're keeping nice and cool. But it's good because the sun's pretty much behind us. So a good time to travel and looking forward to getting to the coast, definitely. definitely. So we arrived on the coast and thankfully it's a little bit cooler. A little bit. It's not about, cold. About five degrees. Five degrees <laughs> cool, but that does make all the difference. It's been manageable today, hasn't it? Yeah. It's gone from being over 40 in the van constantly to now sitting on about 36. So that's that's okay. We Things aren't melting in the van, are no, they? No, we can do that. Um, so Charlie's doing all right. He's been very chilled since we got here. Both the dogs have actually. So um, this is, we're feeling better. Yeah, well, we'll probably tell you where we are. We're in a place called Jam Zambugera. I'll yeah. put the name up here. And we checked into the campsite here because we want to make sure Charlie's okay. We want to give him stability. We want to be able to get everything out of the van and he can just, you know, Yeah, relax. and just wait for it to cool down that little bit more before we go off wild camping or before we change up, you know, go to look for land again or anything like that. We just need to chill out for a bit. Mm. And this was like, just like basically the first campsite we came to, yeah. right? couple yeah. of hours drive that's it it's crazy and portugal isn't that big so at least you know that if you're in the center and there's a crazy heat wave coming a you couple of hours drive you're on the coast yeah so this is a really nice campsite it's quite big and there's lots of people here but it doesn't actually seem that busy it's got really nice chill out vibe it's sitting amongst these lovely eucalyptus trees and the facilities are amazing. Yeah, they've got <laughs> such nice uh, clean toilets and showers. Like I'm sure they clean the toilets like every half an hour. Seriously, mm. music playing in there. It's got the massive really... spa like showers with huge heads. Yeah, um, there's, there's a swimming pool. There's a jacuzzi. jacuzzi. There's a really good shop, really well stocked. There's a bar, a restaurant, and yeah, basically everything you need. And it's like 19 euros 50, was it? Yeah. Per night. For us so it's not bad it's pretty cool really good really yeah. good and the location's quite good as well because you're about about 500 meters from the beach mm, there's a little town there cute little town and a nice beach to go on yeah um so yeah this is us for a few days yeah just until to... and hopefully in a few days the weather will calm down a little bit mm. <laughs> fingers crossed fingers crossed but anyway guys we are going to end the vlog here um thanks all so much for watching please make sure you're following us on instagram facebook and or TikTok, TikTok. Uh, for daily updates give this video a thumbs up please hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos ever make sure you subscribe tell all your friends about us <laughs> and yeah that's it folks i think it's suddenly got a bit rowdy here, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we'll catch you all next Thursday. Take care, guys. See you next week. <laughs>